I'm shooting on a phase one camera with a 120mm lens using bronze color lighting and we're going to be shooting watches for their in-store promotion. See the thing is, okay. if you're going to come in really close, and so far I can say, if I take that watch there and I put something like this. Just a little bit of detail. detail. That could be quite interesting. Yeah. Let's set one up and let's take mm -hmm. it on there and see. Justin, we're going to come from on top, yeah? Everything you need to be able see. to see. But then can I, but then this I can open up, eh? Yeah. So I can un unhook it and... That well, let's start, should we start here then, seeing that I've got this in my hand? Mm. And these are all for posters, 500 by 500. Okay, so what I've got to do now is just got to set the times to 10 past 10 on the watch face. We do that because it frames the logo. We've got the Seiko watch logo. It also has a smiling face. I prefer to use medical gloves, ones that are powder free. I find that when you're working with jewelry and watches, if you use cloth or fabric gloves, they leave little hairs and pieces of cloth in the actual jewelry, in the clasps or in the watch. And I find this works much better, no fingerprints and everything. And we're gonna be coming really close in on the watch face, creating beautiful light. I need to make sure that we, we get that mood and feel through in the leather, the texture of the leather, and then we get the beautiful crispness of the watch. We've got our first image through, not looking too bad. Okay, so I'm just gonna graduate this along this board here. So the light spreads across that. Let's have a look and see what we've got. So we come back here now, you can see we've lit this area here, but it's now become too flat, the whole picture. So we're gonna start working on the balance of the light and then we'll start bringing little accent lights in as we move along. The shot is gonna be used square. So I'm gonna go into capture one into my cropping tool and I'm gonna set that on one by one, which will give me a square cropping format so I can see. And it's gonna be coming quite close into the watch. Um, the image is gonna go up 50 centimeters. You've got plenty of resolution in that. I like to leave a little bit of bleed so that if they ever wanna use it for a different application, they can. better. Right, what I want to do now is just want to, I want to try and extend this around. So let's see if we can bend that perspex a little bit. Okay, so you can see what we've got. Yeah, much nicer. That light's coming around. I like the darkness in here, so I think we, we can work with that now. And now it's just a matter of getting a few more accents up and just working around until we get, I'd like to get a bit of light around the top here just to pick up a little bit of a highlight on there and then we'll put something into the face itself. So what I'm doing is just putting a light up into this background, up at the top, the big bounce board we've got on top, just with a good minute, just to pick up a little bit of light into the watch face. I like lighting into flat surfaces and areas, as you can see. So let's see what this does, and let's turn this right up to full power. If you could, please, that, that head. Mm -hmm. 